Hi, I'm Dr. Kath Watson, and today PD Insurance has asked me to talk to you about seasonal allergies. Now in this case, I'm mostly gonna to refer to dogs because they're the ones that mostly suffer from allergies. I'm not saying cats don't, but the common species that we would see with allergies would be dogs. Now seasonal allergies are just that, they come with various seasons, which usually means that they're an environmental trigger. There's a whole bunch of things that dogs can be allergic to, just as there is with humans. We refer to hay fever in humans, and in dogs it's largely called atopy, but it really doesn't matter, it's still a seasonal allergy. So with allergies, they're often lifelong. So once your dog starts showing signs of being itchy in certain seasons, it's likely to continue for life. It may get better or worse over time though. Some allergies are gonna require quite a lot of time and effort on your behalf to manage. Uh, others might be very straightforward. Some are gonna be potentially quite expensive to manage. Others may be, very, again, very straightforward and potentially quite cheap. So the first thing to think about when it comes to managing seasonal allergies in dogs is what can and can't you manage. So things like being able to handle your dog. Can you look in their ears? Can you check their feet? Can you have a look underneath? Will they allow you to do this stuff? Are you able to give them a bath if you need to? Can you medicate them? So just have a think about those things. The second thing you can do is keep an itch diary. So that's writing down where you've been, what you've been up to with your dog, and try and get a feel for what the triggers might be. Keep a record of when the allergy season seems to start for your dog and how long it seems to last. Is there certain periods in that time that they're worse? Are there certain treatments that seem to work really well? Are there changes that you make that seem to stop the allergies? Take some photographs as you go. So. You know what your dog's skin looks like when it's really good? Photograph that so you can compare when you're not sure if maybe the skin's starting to flare up. But then take some photographs when the skin's looking really bad too so that you know what it's like at its worst and then you can see whether treatments are working or not to make it better. Have a look around and see what could be contributing. Are you treating for parasites? Things like fleas. They're really, really common in New Zealand and have a, play a massive role in itchiness in a lot of dogs. Are you using a shampoo that you notice every time you use it, your dog gets itchy afterwards or perhaps they improve? Food can play a role. There are specific food allergies, uh, which tend to be year round. However, sometimes a food can help lower their response to seasonal allergies as well. And then have a look at the bedding. Are you washing it? Are they sleeping somewhere that's particularly dusty uh, or prone to collecting pollen? When it comes to managing season allergies, talk through your options with your vets. In some cases, you may be able to manage with topical treatments, so things like shampoos and lotions and moisturisers. In a lot of cases, dogs are going to need some form of systemic treatment. That might be as basic as antihistamines, it may require short courses of steroids. There's also some really cool treatments out there using monoclonal antibodies. Um, or it may be that actually an allergy vaccine gets made up for your uh, particular pet. But like I say, be honest about what you can manage with your dog as far as treatments that are available and what the time commitment's going to be. Because this is season allergies are for life. Mm -hmm.